So now we're going to take a look at the Audio Mixer in Avid Media Composer. It works a little bit different from other programs, so we're going to take a look and see what those differences are. So if we look at these tracks down here, they actually match up with the mixer. So you can see that A1 and A2 are represented here. There's a skip here of anything because there's nothing present here. And then if we look in 5 and 6, we'll see that we have actual music in these tracks. So if we move this down to where we have audio on all of these channels and we move our timeline indicator, we're going to see that all these channels are now filled. So I'm going to undo that. So what we can do is we can adjust this audio down and we could bring our dialogue up. Um, dialogue in um, Avid should be um, digital, should be between um, zero and, and plus six. So you don't want it to be going up here. I mean, it's okay as, as we know when things go under and over, but uh, generally it's going to be in that area and analog will be basically negative 14 to roughly up here in the negative 8 zone so just imagine it this being the sweet spot and your your score your music and things like that will kind of work in this range as well so let's take a look here <laughs> that the audio is way too loud. You can actually just grab these and drag them down, but if you do it separately, they will go separately. So we need to gang these together. So go and hit this group button, and that will make these sliders slide together here. Um, we don't want these to be selected because they're gonna slide with it. So let's undo those. And these are fine. We want these two to move together. Another thing that you can do is you can type in a value. So with the right side of your keyboard, if you have those keys, so we'll hit negative 35, and we will go down there. Let's take a look, and you'll see it displayed here. Our, uh, daily fight was a little off schedule. So it's a little low. So let's bring it up. My mom and me are. Uh... Daily fight was a little off schedule. Okay, and then let's go up to um, our dialogue clip. Let's bring these up. Oops, we'll actually want to gang both of these, but we'll ungang these. We don't want these to go with it. Now that we have that, let's bring this up to a little above plus six. Give that a shot. Sorry I'm late. My mom and me are. Uh, daily fight was a little off schedule. To go above plus nine. Mom and me, our uh, daily fight was a little off schedule. Okay, that's great. So that's how you can um, do uh, your, you know, adjust your audio levels. But that might not be actually too convenient to go through everything, even though you may want to be fine tuning things. So. Let's go to hit uh, command, hold down our command key and go to an edit point and put an in point there. And we'll go to do the same thing to this point and we'll put an out point. So with our timeline indicator over this adjustment here and these clips selected, we can go into our fast menu and set level on track in to out. And it will actually take these settings and apply those to these clips. Let's take a look. Spend my time in, ain't it? That's a paper cup you're drinking your coffee out yeah, of, Steven. Yeah, Clark can afford it, believe me. That's not the point. All right, so. You can see that that mix is working better and that's a quicker way to adjust all of our clips. And if we wanted to do it to our whole timeline, we could hit the G key to deselect and park over a clip 
and now it will set on the level on track global and it will apply this globally to that track so the selected track that you have will take all these settings and apply it to them so let's uh, do that right now I want to look at one other thing that we can do if right here I I want it to actually fade into the music and I want it to be louder and then I want it to fade out so to do, to do that we can come up here to clip and we need to add filler at the start that adds a blank basically to the front of our project we can take our audio and move it back a little bit to the spacebar and play that So right before she says, hey, I want this to fade out. So to do that, we can go to the Add Edit, and we'll create an edit point there. And then we will add another edit here. And I like this, this setting here, but let's go to this one. And we actually want this one to be raised. So let's gain these and we will raise this up a little bit. Let's take a listen. Hey, sorry. So you can actually see this black line goes to the decibel decibels that you've actually adjusted it to. So that's great. It's it's a better um, it's better here to be louder and then go to this, but it's not actually fading down. So to do that, what we need to do is go to put our timeline indicator where we want that fade. Let's add a quick transition and set how many frames that you want it to be and I'm going to actually just be putting this to audios 5 and 6 so I'll select those and I'll hit add so now we'll have that fade there let's take a listen hey sorry I'm late my mom and me are uh Fight was a little off Great. So I'm going to take this clip out here. So I'm going to select it and hit my backspace. And I'm going to actually put a fade out there as well. Three frames. Just add it to these two tracks. Hit app. I'm late. My mom and me are uh, daily fight was a little off schedule. Great, that's it.